Okay, it is time for Season 11, Episode 18 of The Walking Dead. Um, last week ended with Daryl putting his giant knife to Hornsby's throat. But Hornsby, he, uh, he still looked pretty confident that he was going to emerge unscathed. Man doesn't know Daryl at all. The only way he's coming out of it alive is if his life is ruined. You've come so far. Lost so much. Hey, come oh, on, brother. Come on, boss. Any weapons? I don't trust when anyone could go at any time. Carl, Herschel. It's not lost for us. Dang. I believe that. Beth. And remembering their voices? Oh, the spikes. This is how we keep them alive. The future is lost. Drop your weapons! Hold it right there! Let's go! 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 Let's go!
We still don't know the result of the coin flip. Yeah, there are both supplies. Lance did for Oceanside. I've been on the road a few weeks, so it's a few more, right? Hey. Okay. Uh, that's all set. Oh, are these uh, two okay. a thing? Because I approve. It's a few more weeks, huh? Sorry. Sorry. You're allowed to move on. And don't ever be sorry for it. No. Between you and me, I think Elijah's a little more, uh... Yeah. I think he's a better match for her than, uh, than Henry was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yours. Yeah. yeah. I've just, I've gotten used to her having it. <laughs> No. Shall we stay and help him? Isn't that what you and Mom and Dad did at Alexandria and Hope? That's different. It wasn't. The only difference now is that you'd rather run away than stay and fight. God damn it. Stop. Stop. Dang. Just stop. Daryl, run away. You got Boy, that got a lot more tense than I was expecting. But, at the end of the day, Daryl and Judith are family. Family argues. They fight. They have disagreements. I mean, for God's sake, Daryl and Rick were family, and I lost count of how many times they punched each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm having flashbacks to the to the fair where Alpha killed ten people. The fact that Henry got mentioned when he was one of the victims isn't helping. From king to zookeeper. And yet for some reason I feel like he's happier now. Helping the people of another kingdom before it falls apart. Hey, what's going on? I'd be more than happy to see him be the king again. King of the Commonwealth. It is an absolute privilege to be with you here today as we honor the founding of our great home. That is crap. Well, then it's perfect I for you. I don't need this. I don't believe because I'm a Milton. You have jeopardized enough with your stupidity. You were born to leave this place. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want it. I don't want it. Max doesn't want it. And I think deep down, Pamela doesn't want it either. I have often wondered what would happen if a baby dies in the womb. Does it turn into a walker and it's eat the mother from the inside out? No. No. Staying here isn't an option. Yeah. It's not. There are people looking to us. Well, take care of the baby first, and then you can talk about leaving. I can't risk that. Another staple of the past that we haven't seen too much lately. Hey, Invincible. Robert Kirkman's other Especially big comic. Said we had a pack, but he said he was coming. It's just reminding me of Carl. Back in the day, everyone was like, Stay in the fucking house, Carl! And now, here's Judith, also unable to stay in the house. Although, it's been a while since she's been able to. It's a parenting thing. You're good at it. <laughs> you are to her now. Yeah, I was born and had no idea what I was doing. All I really knew was that I loved her. So to me... Poor Sophia. I'm not sure this is the best idea. We don't have much of a choice. Of course we do. What are you I two up to? I have to do something. I've been in her office for years. 
Even if I didn't know what was really going on, I definitely knew Sebastian was bad news, and I just went along with it. You don't know what it's like to feel that kind of guilt. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I'm fairly familiar with guilt, Burton. Yeah, you would be, wouldn't you? We cannot trust this man. But if you truly believe there's an outside chance he can help us, then... Trust who? I'll suck it up. Her brother? I'll do my best. Mercer? Oh, no way. He knows she's there. Unless you're willing to burn the whole thing down. You shall do right. to them. So we'll burn it down. Do I'm trying to remember the last time I saw Gabriel actually them. being a priest. For it is the Lord, your God, goes with you. And you, Gabe, will be here long after you're gone. Hey, Judith. What are you up to? Same thing every year. We set it up, take it all down, and we don't even get to see the main event. Don't matter. As long as I can hear those lottery numbers being called, I promise to forget all about you when I win. <laughs> <laughs> can we help you? Whoa! Why? They didn't shoot him in the brain either, so they're coming back. They want chaos. I'm looking forward to whatever happens to fake Stephanie. Well, technically, they were both fake Stephanie. Yeah. The bad fake Stephanie. Yeah. You just wanted to be alone. I get it. I used to have a spot like this. It was kind of Daryl's whole thing when I first met him. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying real hard. Oh, then you're a good parent. This is bullshit! Is that a tape recorder? Hit record right now. Hit record. Get him to say something stupid. Leading isn't just telling people her words. Some truth might be the way to go. People respect that sort of thing. People don't want honesty. They want to be told that everything's A-OK -okay so they can go about ignoring the goddamn mess this world really is. That's <laughs> not true. Please. The Commonwealth is built on buying into bullshit. The desperate need to believe that the old American dream is still real, you know? Anything is possible. We, we could rise above our station. It's a friggin' joke. The reality is that the poor stay poor so that the rich can do whatever the hell we want. The game is rigged. There are no bootstraps to pull up. Christ, my mom handpicks the lottery. <laughs> and nothing happens. And nothing will ever change. But those people... Oh, you are buried. You think what? Honestly. They're just too stupid to see it. It's pathetic. <laughs> now that sounds like you believed it. But me? 
maybe, maybe you just choose to be a spoiled asshole. <laughs> I mean, if everyone else expects it, who's left to disappoint? This loudspeaker playing music. She's gonna she's gonna plug that tape recorder right into the speaker. <laughs> oh, I wanna see this happen. Oh I'm trying to remember if they've kissed before. I feel like I feel like maybe they haven't, but I'm not sure. You know, Woodbury had something like this. Although, the governor made them fight. Surrounded by walkers. Ah, uh, if only 30 wrestlers were still alive, then we could have a Royal Rumble. Do it, Eugene. Press play. Let's extend a hearty thank you to our combatants! My son, Sebastian, has prepared a few words. <laughs> I, uh, I know that a lot of you don't think very well of me. I know that I probably deserve that. Now, it is going to take a long, long road for me to earn your trust and live up to my legacy. I don't have the words to describe what this place means to me. But my grandfather did. So, humbly, if you would join me in listening to the wise words of President Milton, founder of the Commonwealth. Oh, it's on. Please. The Commonwealth <laughs> is built on buying into bullshit. <laughs> None of you are trying to beat up Sebastian right now. I was just thinking she'd be able to get away because the crowd would just jump on him. I think Eugene's gonna take care of him in a minute. Uh, yeah. I think it is fair to say that Max has officially decided to rage against the machine. That's right. God, all these people have been inside too long. Come on, dude. You didn't even try to fight back. Oh, I feel like Judah's friend is gonna get is gonna get bit. Gene, now would be a good time to save the day. There he is. <laughs> nice shot, Eugene. 
Look how many people are just sitting there watching, or standing there watching. They're like, we do not care, we're rooting for the walker. Dude, she got off of you, just run. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not expect that. For so many reasons. Well, um, I knew that Sebastian was not going to have the exact same character arc as he did in the comics, but, uh, he, he did not die in the comics, but that's another classic Walking Dead tradition of killing off characters that survived or at least killing them off long before they died. So, uh, yeah. Sebastian had a big part in how the comics ended, so now I have no idea how the show's gonna end. And, like, I'm going into the unknown, and I like it. And I like it more because Sebastian is dead. <laughs>